Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel, Baddest and Intuitive Tarot. In today's reading, I'm taking a peek into your romantic love life for the rest of August 2023. I'm going to pull for you a seven card spread, take a look at who you're dealing with around this time romantically, I'll find out how they feel about you, take a look at the situation surrounding you guys, see if there's any challenges you guys are up against, things like that. I'll get their intentions with you, their behavior towards you, and I'll also be diving deep into what's in your blind spot with this person, Capricorn, meaning what could be negatively impacting the connection that you may not even be aware of is even happening in the first place. Whether Either you're doing something to sabotage it unbeknownst to yourself or your person is or something or someone external to the two of you seems to not want you guys to be together for whatever reason and is doing whatever to make sure you guys are apart if that's the case I will do my best to find out what it could be if it could be and why it could be followed by your advice in today's reading so let's get nosy spirit what do we have for Capricorn today in love for the rest of August 2023 Oh, by the way, Capricorn, if you're going to notice that my setup is changing. Um, I'm packing up to relocate my recording area. I am tired of recording in my bedroom where you guys can see my freaking bed. <laughs> so I'm going to um, be setting up in a new space very soon. Still the same setup, but just a cozier environment. Capricorn love, August 2023. What do we have for them? Two more shuffles. One, two. Let's rock this and deck for my awesome cappies. Okay, so the person you're connecting to for the rest of August, how do they feel about you deep down? We have the moon, Pisces Cancer energy. Now with the moon being their feelings for you, they feel like they have to keep their feelings a secret. They feel like they have to leave you in the dark. They feel like they can't just be their authentic self with you for, for some reason, whether it's because of insecurities, whether it's because the situation between the two of you is very unique and other people won't understand it, or you guys are in a secret romance and it would be not in their best interest to tell anybody about you and you them. Hmm. All I know is this person, when they look in the mirror at their reflection, they see the moon reflecting back at them instead of their face. And the moon is all about self-deception, illusions, fears, anxieties, fear of the truth, fear of something coming out in the light. Alright, we'll see what's going on. For some of you, you guys met someone during cancer season. Hmm. They're definitely feeling emotional about this though, because the moon is all about emotions. But it's suppressed emotion, something that they're burying down for whatever reason and not really, you know, revealing it to you or to themselves, it feels like. What's their true intentions with you around this time, Capricorn? The Knight of Wands. They are definitely intending to pursue something passionate with you. They really, really are attracted to you. The Knight of Wands as intentions is the intent to pursue, the intent to um, become one physically they feel like you guys have strong chemistry they feel like this is just a fun dynamic between the two of you but be mindful that the knight of wands does have the reputation of coming through and getting someone to fall in love and then they exit just as quick as they came in so I will take a look at their behavior towards you and I'll dive deeper into their intentions. Don't worry, your girl is going to get nosy to make sure that you are, you know, dealing with someone who's got your best interests in mind. But I definitely feel like someone's intending to come in like a fiery knight, ready to have some fun with you, but in secret perhaps. So what's their behavior towards you for the remainder of August? The two of swords. So right now they're kind of being slow to respond to your messages for whatever reason. They intend to um, come towards you, but around this time you may feel like you're not getting, you know, really any clarity off of this person. You know, their behavior is very indecisive. It's like they're very distracted by this relationship with you. They can't get their work done. You see this person trying to get their work done and they they're tempted to answer your text, answer your call, but they're trying to be very mysterious with you for some reason. And for some of you, you've got someone that might need to make a decision and they're procrastinating because the Two of Swords is also the energy of procrastination. You know, I don't know what I want, Badison. I feel great chemistry with Capricorn. I feel emotional about Capricorn, but I don't know what I want. I don't know what to do. So until I figure out what I want, I'm going to keep my feelings a secret. 
but I'm still going to actively pursue them on a very passionate level. But as regards to, you know, opening up to them and talking about our future together, I'm going to keep those plans to myself for right now. Um, I am getting for some of you, you may have been the one to ignore their last message because you felt like they were not really opening up to you with that moon energy. It's like you saw through it. You saw it. You saw it through some sort of facade. Could be a Libra that you're connecting to. So what's your feelings for this person, Capricorn, around this time? The Eight of Cups. Some of you are tempted to just walk away and feel like, well, that was fun while it lasted. I guess this is not going into anything stable because my person's not opening up to me. My person leaves me on red half the time. And then the other time they come in out of nowhere and then just as quick as they leave. You know, I'm looking at you packing up a whole bunch of cups, party cups, as if to say, well, that was a fun party, time to clean up. You know, like you may think that this was a summer fling or summers flings. Some of you guys like reconnect every summer. You know, this person disappears for eight months and then comes back around being like, hi, Cappy, what you been up to? You know, what you doing? And you're like, ugh, all right. You're gonna just keep on coming and going. I'll see what's going on here because I feel like right now you're, you're, you're trying to detach emotionally, but I do feel like you both seem to pull each other in. There's something about this connection where you're, you're feeling pessimistic that something's even going to work out. And I get a similar message off of Sagittarius's reading. So you could be um, a cusper or you're dealing with a Sagittarius. Because I was strongly getting in that reading two people that really want to be with each other but felt like everything external was out to get them. So let's find out. What could be holding this back? The King of Pentacles. Something about stability is affecting this relationship or money or someone's pursuit of career. Um, someone's other commitments, divided loyalties. I'm definitely getting money being an issue for somebody here where someone's like, I gotta work a lot, you know? I can't see you every single day, I gotta work a lot. Or someone is feeling like the universe is separating the two of you so that you can focus on your career because the King of Pentacles is you, Capricorn, regardless of your gender. Maybe this connection distracted you from your, your own personal goals, your financial goals, and they're trying to give you space to figure out what you should do for your career or to make more money because this person may be a distraction. I'm definitely getting you both feeling uh, distracted by each other, but still wanting to talk to each other. And for some of you, there could be another commitment involved, you know, where someone has to make a decision. So what's your potential outcome for August with this person? The Seven of Swords. You both feel like you have to strategize with each other. You both feel like you don't know what the other person's up to. The more this person keeps their feelings a secret, the more you think that maybe those secrets are negative secrets. You know, it, it's, it's the energy of, um, even if the secrets that you're keeping are innocent, just the thought of someone being able to keep secrets is enough for someone to wonder, well, if you can be go at keeping those secrets to yourself, imagine negative secrets that could hurt me one day, you know? So even if it's this person just keeping how they feel about you a secret, the fact that they are secretive is enough for you to feel like you can't trust them wholeheartedly. There's something going on here where you guys are both watching each other like a hawk. This is the both of you in the outcome position, watching each other's social medias to try to catch each other um, in a lie or, you know, wanting to know what everyone is up to. Because I definitely feel like for the last couple weeks you guys haven't been talking much and you both are in the energy of, hmm, I wonder what each other's up to while we're not talking. I'm definitely getting a lot of silence between the two of you right now. But they intend to come towards you. But when they come towards you, are you still going to be there? That's the thing. What's your advice? The Empress. Your advice is to go wherever you see growth, wherever you see abundance, wherever you see life and love and just feeling like all those emotions that someone feels are flowing. You know, it's so hard to be with someone that has love but won't share that love. Someone's keeping something hidden. Maybe it's because it's not ready to come out, not ready to be born, not ready to express, or something is the wrong timing for somebody. 
okay Venus and Libra and Taurus energy so your advice is to go wherever you feel like you can create abundance for yourself Capricorn and if you feel like you can't have it with this person then you need to trust your intuition here but let's get nosy I'm gonna find out more about what's going on I'm gonna find out how they feel about you deep down I'm gonna get past this moon energy um, the overall energy for the two of you is the two of Pentacles with the two of pentacles being the overall edgy for the two of you you both are trying to figure out how are we going to work together as a team how are we going to do this how are we going to build together okay i am strongly getting for some of you you are on a separate uh temporary separation with this person or there's just been no communication for our swords where two people have been really like pulling away for a moment just to figure out what they both wanted in the situation so let's see your person's feelings for you at this moment in time capricorn is the moon they're definitely feeling, you know, emotional. And then there's the chariot. Some of you guys, there's distance behind you guys that's keeping you guys apart. Or someone's just been acting very emotionally distant. What is the moon telling me? Why is the moon how this person feels about Capricorn around this time? Uh-oh, we're, get, we're getting a visitor. We're about to get a visitor. Hold on. My cat Merlin's about to jump up. The moon. Why the moon? The Queen of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. Yeah, this person's feeling like something is out of their control. They feel restricted, but they find you very attractive, very nurturing. Oh, she changed her mind. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Gemini that keeps changing their mind. My, my Merlin is a Gemini. Oh, and that's Gemini energy and Gemini energy. So some of you guys are dealing with a Gemini that keeps on changing their mind. But anyways, um, Capricorn, you've got someone that's feeling really, really confused about the two of you. They feel like you are worth everything, you know. The Queen of Pentacles is your court card. It's telling me that they find you very beautiful or handsome. There's no genders in my readings. You've got a great head on your shoulders. You are very captivating. You take good care of the people in your life. When they're around you, they feel like they're the only one in the world. But the Eight of Swords is telling me that they feel restricted on what they can have with you. All right, the Eight of Swords is a mental prison. It's a self-imposed mental prison. They feel restricted. Or, or you're dealing with someone that knows you are top quality, but they're, you know, suffocated by the idea of maybe a commitment. You might have someone that's a commitment phobe. You know, and that's why the King of Pentacles is in the blockage. Or they already have other divided commitments. You know, and they're like, what am I doing? You know? I don't have any evidence of a third party just yet, so we'll just keep that, you know, out, out there for a moment. Let's clarify your feelings, and then I'll get another card on their feelings for you. Your feelings for this person around this time is the Eight of Cups, the Seven of Wands, and the Strength card, Leo Energy. Oh, and the Four of Pentacles, Capricorn Energy. You're feeling like you need to put up some boundaries with this person around this time. Okay, you're trying to showcase your assertive side. You're trying to show this person that you're loyal to them, but also more loyal to yourself first and foremost. And I absolutely adore that. I co-sign that. Always be loyal to yourself first. Um, you feel like you have to play it safe with this person with the Four of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. You feel like you have to be a little bit, you know, guarded, um, but you are open to something with this person, Page of Cups. You like them. You, you got feelings for this person. Let me get another card on how this person feels about Capricorn. The Tower and the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles has feelings. That's feeling like you want to build someone or build something secure with someone. Um, but the Tower right next to it, which is all about unstable foundations, they feel like their hands are tied in regards to creating something with you. Man, this feels very similar to Sagittarius's reading, where you both want to be together, but you feel like there's no structure to build a life together. Yes, we have feelings for each other. Yes, there's strong chemistry, but we can't put our lives together. Our lives won't make sense together. My friends won't support it. My family won't support it. Their Capricorn's family won't support it. Capricorn's friends won't support it. You know, our relationship is just not being supported in the 3D realm, even though we, it's like you guys meet each other underneath the moon at night. And then during the daytime when the sun is out, you guys are acting like you're strangers to each other. That's what it feels like. And that's what I, I got during um, Capricorn's reading. Who else got something similar this week? I think it was Libra. Um, Libra. Yeah, Libra got it too. And I got Libra energy here, right here. 
So some of you guys could be connecting with a Libra. It feels like a secret situation right now while two people figure out, should we bring this to light? So your person's intentions is the Knight of Wands. Ace of Wands and the Sun. So this person's definitely this person is definitely intending to pursue you on a passionate level. You really are very attractive to this person. They think that you just are someone very captivating and they can't resist you. However, they're they're <laughs> This is the energy of, hey, since we can't be in a relationship right now, let's at least like connect with each other on a physical level. I need to hold you. I need to hold you. Can I hold you while we figure out the rest of this stuff? But in your defense, you're like, how truthful is this? I mean, if they wanted me, they can, they can make it happen. You know, are they just pulling the wool over my eyes just so they can keep on having access to me on an intimate level? You know, you really got to be careful. I feel like there's something going on here where this person is motivated to all the easy stuff, but when it comes to building a structured relationship, that's when they're like, oh, I don't know about that. You know, it's like a kid that will be open to having candy playing on their PlayStation, but when it comes to cleaning their room, they're like, I ain't got time for that. We got time for everything else. It's like, if you wanted enough, you would do it. Um, so what's in the blind spot is the King of Pentacles. Why the King of Pentacles? Why the King of Pentacles? Why the King of Pentacles? Four of Wands wanted a hot belt. So, King of Wands, Leo energy. So, the, the, what's negatively impacting this connection is the fact that someone here is not providing a structured um, platform for the two of you to build a relationship off of. The Empress needs an Emperor to step in and create that foundation. The Emperor is the number four and the number four in tarot is creating that stable foundation where then the Empress can go into that stable foundation and take that house and turn it into a home to create life in it, to create love inside of that foundation that the Emperor, the number four created, laid down. Now that's no gender. You know, it has nothing to do with genders, but that's what's coming out as your advice. They want you to find the environment that will allow you to create life, to create love, to create, you know, a place of abundance. You know, if this person's not providing that, don't give them any more of your time. Ignore them. So their behavior towards you for the rest of the month is the Two of Swords, King of Wands, Empress. You guys are watching each other though. Why the Two of Swords? King of Pentacles, that's you. And then the Queen of Swords, them. They're watching you. They're watching you like a hawk, Capricorn. And I feel like I said this to you a few weeks ago. They're watching you. So regardless of the situation, in, in regards to how you guys are communicating with each other, what plans you guys are making, they are watching you up and down, up and down. Okay, and then you're over here like, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm a king of pentacle. I, I need that 3D stability. I need structure. I can't just, you know, deal with your, you know, flirty messages and, you know, boom, boom once in a while and then that's it. You know, you want something more. So your outcome together is a seven of swords. You guys strategizing, you both watching each other, you both not trusting each other. Why the seven of swords? The Eight of Cups and the Death card and the Page of Pentacles. Capricorn, I'm strongly getting this energy where you feel like if nothing changes, I gotta walk away. You're the one with the Eight of Cups here. You may feel like you've been down this rodeo before with this person because the Death card in this art depiction shows nine ghost kitties. Like you guys keep on having a start again, stop again, start again, stop again type of dynamic and you're exhausted with it. So your advice, the knight uh, um, is the empress. Now, if you're in recent no contact with this person, Capricorn, I will pull their hidden feelings for you in a second. And then I'll tell you what zodiac signs came through this reading. But they're definitely intending to pursue you. They're not done with you, but it looks like you're, you're getting kind of done with them. Why the empress? The lovers and the knight of cups. They're wanting you to know that you've got, um, you've got someone new heading towards you that is going to come in with a lot of love and 
openness and you will be able to make a decision once and for all whether to give you know Friday night Saturday night Tom over here a chance or let you know someone else who may want to start building that life with you a chance you've got someone new coming around you possibly during Virgo season with that we are in Virgo season right now but I'm meaning more towards September September you might have someone new coming into your life and you're gonna have a choice to make and spirits really want you to choose what will provide you the most amount of love and growth okay so you've got a decision to make because they're coming they're heading towards you very fast with that knight of wands energy and it's going to be up to you to decide if you want to answer their call answer their text please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl and if you want to book a prior reading the link to my website is in the description box below this video if this reading did not resonate do check out your august monthly and your august bi-weeklies that i have in my playlist for zodiac signs that came through this reading today we have gemini taurus libra cancer pisces um, and Leo, but it could really be any zodiac sign. I have to be in contact with you again. I miss you too much. So this this person misses you. This person loves to hold you and touch you, but where's the relationship? Where's the stability though? I didn't realize I loved you until it was too late. I'm so sorry. I want to ask our mutual friends about you. Time has brought me clarity about us. I made the wrong choices. For some of you, when you walk away, that's when this person's gonna be like, oh, wait a minute, I do love you, and it might be a little too late. Um, now that song by JoJo just popped up in my head, a little too late. All right, Capricorn, you've got beautiful love heading towards you, and you've got a big choice to make. The choice is gonna be up to you, okay? You're, I feel like you're being delivered something beautiful, okay? So I hope this helps. I'll be doing your September monthly in a few days. And until then, I love you, Capricorn. Please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. And I wish you the best of best weeks. Later, Gators.